Hi, Elliot here, and today we're back for a brand new episode of 3D Explain. Last time we focused on polymer powered bed fusion. Let's now have a look at its metal counterpart. As we saw in our last episode, powder bed fusion is a vast family able to use both polymers and metals. In the case of metal PBF, the main technologies are PBF-LB, historically known as SLM or DMLS, and PBF-EB, known as EBM. PBF-LB refers to direct metal laser melting. It's an additive manufacturing method in which a laser is used to melt metal particles arranged in a bed of powder layer by layer. The PBF-EB or electron beam melting method is a technology developed solely by Arcam part of GE additive. It uses an electron beam to melt the powder. As such, one of the main differences in the two 3D printing systems lies in the energy source, electron beam versus laser. The manufacturing system repeats the same process until the final part is obtained. First, the printing tray is heated to the ideal melting temperature, which depends on the technology and the material being processed. Next, a thin layer of metal powder is dispensed to coat the entire tray. The energy source then fuses the parts of the print point by point until the layer is complete. Once this step is done, the printing tray lowers by a few millimeters to make way for the next layer of powder and starts the process all over again. Once the use of support structures is not mandatory, it is highly recommended. In this sense, the support anchors the parts to the print bed and dissipates the heat so as not to compromise the integrity of the print or the material. These metal materials can include, but are not limited to, stainless steel, cobalt chromium, aluminum, copper, septanium or nickel alloys and even precious metals for some specific solutions. Metal PBF requires certain post-treatment steps to remove the infused powder from the print tray. Supports, if used, must also be removed by cutting, machining or wire EDM methods. The final part can also be heat treated to reduce residual stresses and improves their mechanical properties, especially in laser melt based systems. It can also be combined with CNC machining or polishing process to provide better surface quality. Due to the complexity of this metal technology, the solutions available on the market are often very expensive. In addition, the precision and quality of the final parts makes these industrial machines suitable for the most advanced applications, within sectors such as aerospace, automotive or medical. Some of the most prominent players in the market are SLM Solutions, Rancho, Trumpf, Prima Additive, EOS, G Additive, 3D Systems, among others. What do you think of metal powder bed fusion? And what material would you be the most interested in printing with such a machine? Share your thoughts in the comments. Tune in next time to learn even more about additive manufacturing. See you soon on 3D Explained.